Are you thinking about selling your home? The process can be, well, daunting, but it doesn't have to be. If you're in the Chicagoland area, Main Street Realtors are here to support you on your home selling journey. From preparing your home for sale to putting it on the market to closing the deal, we're here to help. Main Street Realtors bring integrity, knowledge, and care to each client. Take advantage of the seller's market and start your home selling journey today. Visit MainStreet.Realtor to get started. Dr. Wu, thank you so much for calling, my man. I, I Thank you for listening. Hope you had happy holidays. But uh, we were asking or we were talking about you saying you didn't know much about this variant either when we talked about a week ago. Do you got any new news for us? What, what can you tell us that we didn't know last time we talked? <laughs> well, yeah, I definitely was listening. I'm like, I should probably reach out. All right. So uh, <laughs> the bad news is I, I'm not sure I still know that much more than two weeks ago. But. That being said, what do we know? We know that there are some things that don't work against it, uh, like some of our monoclonal antibodies don't work. We do know that having just received two shots, that probably offers maybe a little protection, but not the protection that we want. So we definitely want boosters to, to be a part of combating the Omicron. Uh, right now, it does seem to be a little more mild, but not mild enough to try to, in terms of the rise in cases, that it's going to still keep people out of the hospital. Because we're still going to have many more cases, which means just by sheer numbers alone, people are going to show up to the hospital uh, more, even though it is more mild. Uh, right now, you are seeing its transmissibility. You are seeing, as you said on your show, the NBA, the NHL shut down until... Uh, you know, two days from now, the NFL, I mean, the, some of these teams, the poor Ravens looked terrible. The, the Redskins, I mean, uh, yeah. you know, I know Dak looked great, but the Redskins looked so bad yesterday and they're missing a lot of players. So you can see the havoc that it is wreaking, uh, unfortunately. All right, so, so that's what I got for you. Well, w- another the question I have for you, boosters, uh, a couple of us are, a lot of us aren't. We still are trying to find places to go to. Like you said, you need to go get your booster shot. Well, what about behavior wise? What do we need to do? What do we need to start doing again? Maybe we were doing in the past and we stopped. Yeah, so, you know, masking, I think, is really the main important thing. And right now, people are tired of hearing about masking. But right now, even though it's been important through Delta and the beginning of Omicron, right now it is more important than ever to mask. The other thing, and, you know, we don't want business to shut down, so continue to support your local businesses in some way or another. But when it comes to social gatherings, uh, you may want to put, you know, a limit on it when you are having people over. New Year's is coming up. It is a big concern for us. Um, And, you know, I'm worried about where uh, these athletes may be getting it. I don't think they're hunkering down. They're probably going out and being social as well. So I think there's a social component that needs to be geared back, at least for the short term. Dr. Wu, I was so concerned. I was at my grandmother's house, and my grandmother and my grandfather are still alive, both pushing 90 right now. And I think both are on a suicide mission to get COVID and die. At least that's what all of our family thinks, because they will not stop trying to hug and kiss us. And to give them the Heisman huh. stiff arm, I always talk to you about the social sciences of this. Like, I was talking uh, with all the gentlemen in my family about not shaking hands and doing hand knocks from now on. And then I was thinking of you when grandma is trying to go in for the old smoocheroo, but I got to give her the stiff arm and the Heisman. How how do we do, like, is there a way, have you dealt with this in the past? Like, how do we tell these old people to get away from us? So, you know, the problem is that you're so huggable. You guys are so huggable, so that's the issue. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I don't have that problem. You know, to be honest with you, the hug is not, the best thing to do, but it's better than a handshake. Uh, and if you just, if you filmed yourself, you would be surprised how many times your hands go to your face in a given, you know, in a, in a minute, in an hour. Uh, they've done it. They've actually filmed people and they're shocked at how, how many times they touch their face. So the handshake is probably out. The fist bump, you know, you transmit a lot less, but it's still not completely safe. Uh, I'm more of an elbow bump person, but if it comes to it, between a handshake and a hug, you got to go hug over handshake. Excellent stuff. Dr. Wu, thank you so much for calling in, sir. I hope you had a happy holiday, and then uh, keep up the great work. We'll be talking to you soon. Yes, sorry to barge in, but happy to talk. Excellent. It is well worth the barge in. Thank you so much, Dr. Wu. Welcome to Generic University, student 187369. 
Um... At Mount Wachusett Community College, we see students as real people. Our faculty and advisors are here to help you grow and achieve success. Explore your options with the Mount's 70 plus programs, four year college transfer pathways, and career exploration at mwcc.edu slash fall. Apply today and receive your admission decision within 24 hours at mwcc.edu slash fall. That's mwcc.edu slash fall.